Hello everyone and welcome to Smashbox TV's Game Night number five, officially, unofficially, right on time <laughs> at 8.36, right when we projected it. Check your local listings, folks. We'll be uh, pushing back the news tonight because we have some pressing business here. Terry Miller, the disc golf guy, along with Johnny V and our friend, Technical Difficulty, uh, I think we got it all figured out, and I think our women are just about ready to play, Johnny. They've been so graciously waiting patiently. They truly have. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother to go through the techni technical difficulties. Let's just bring them in right away. All right. Without further ado, we welcome tonight. We've got Ladies Night, and our official contestants are joining us. I'm going to quickly go around the room and introduce everyone. We've got uh, Kona Panis joining us from out in Colorado. Hi. We've got Holly Finley coming in from Wisconsin. Hi, Holly. I see Tina Oakley from Pensacola. Hi. Tina is a veteran here. She's played this before, folks. Be careful. Ashley Vichy coming in from a Chicago suburb down near Joliet. We also have Rebecca Cox coming in from Oklahoma. How are you doing tonight, Rebecca? I'm good. All right, she's ready to go. And Sarah Hokum, she said she was feeling feisty tonight. I don't know what that means, Ooh. but Sarah Hokum <laughs> coming in from Idaho. How are we doing tonight, Sarah? What up, everybody? Looking forward to playing some games. Do yeah. it. Uh, all right. Well, I will just one final time reiterate. We appreciate all the patience. Uh, we had a few things to get set up that uh, didn't go as smooth as the last four weeks, but I think we're ready to go. It looks yeah. like our crowd is building out there online, and we invite you guys to join us. Of course, all of your input coming in from at home matters. Not only do we vote for each other's best answers, but then everyone that's playing along at home, they also vote and that uh, directly impacts the results and the scores here as we play Quiplash. As we ask most of our guests, I think we told everybody, if you can try to make sure your phone does not go into sleep or uh, quiet mode, because you might get disconnected from the game. If so, you'll have to wait till we rejoin and we'll make sure that everything's on and going. So again, for the audience, if you'd like to join, you can go to jackbox.tv, put in the code you see on the screen. I believe it's A-T-Z-I, if I remember correctly. Yep. And you can play along with us on Ladies' Night. All right. So uh, anybody have any questions before we get started tonight? Nope. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. We will. Again, it's going to ask you two questions on your uh, device of your phone or your computer browser, whatever you're using, just answer them uh, as funny, as prevalent, however you think the audience is going to make, is going to answer, and then they get to vote. Should no we? Pressure. <laughs> should we start? Should we start? Try, should we try to start the game and see if it starts? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think everybody is yeah. ready. I know I'm ready. And I think everyone else is. Again, try to keep your phone off of any kind of lock or uh, sleep mode or anything like that. Uh, otherwise, it might kick you out. We've found that to be uh, the case in the past. So we'll see if we can get things going. Uh, you should see a prompt once everything gets running here in a moment. You should see a prompt pop up on your device. And from there, you can answer the questions. And then uh, when everyone's done, we will vote on them. Looks like we're starting here now. Uh. All right. Hopefully everyone's seeing something pop up on their screen. Your here screen in just should a few change moments. in a couple seconds here. Sit back and relax. <laughs> There's no relaxing Jerry, here. Play us a song. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, Maybe. I can play us our intro song again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. We're all dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that behind the scenes in our in our green room. So I know the, the, the website's just a little bit slow, so we'll see. Hopefully it'll pop up. Round one. You should be seeing questions in just a moment here. Answer them as quickly as possible. <laughs> Ashley's got her hands up already. What's going on, Ashley? It... I don't know. I'm just confused. That's right. You'll see a question pretty soon, and then you can just answer it. On jackbox.tv. Everybody should be on jackbox.tv and seeing yeah. their questions pop up. All right. So my question just popped up. Hopefully everyone's seeing their questions pop up here. Mm. Just give it a second. Mm. Otherwise, sometimes it, sometimes you can refresh the page. Sometimes should we refresh? refresh? Go ahead. Give it a couple seconds. If not, then re go ahead and refresh. Uh, okay, yep. I got, I got the question. Oh, oh yeah, refresh. Whoa. Or... Okay. <laughs> okay, got the question. All right. Whoa. Good. Whoa. Yeah, I know. It's these kind of questions, folks. Oh man. 
I wasn't sure if tonight would be All cleaner right. than <laughs> some of the nights we've had with some of the boys, me. but I, I, I'm starting to doubt it with our crew. Um, are you supposed to pick a funny answer or Whatever answers you that are the most common answer? Whatever uh, you want. Whatever you think is going to get the best results. So we only answer the first one, right? Because it just went directly to the second question. Yes. Cor okay. Answer the two. If it gives you two, you answer yeah. them both. Oh. Yeah. And then it'll say, thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You can answer them as serious or as humorous as you wish. Do not think mine will be very serious. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right. It uh, looks like time is up. So we're going to see what happens here. That's right. The first one, everyone always gets a little out of sorts, so don't worry about it. The <laughs> question is, the best way to get out of a corn maze? And now you get to vote on the answers. If you look on your screen. If, if you will vote on everyone else's except for the questions of your own you will not get to vote on. And the audience gets to vote and usually the audience are the cooler ones. <laughs> they they tend to they tend to decide. So eat it versus dig. Smashly with eat it taking that one <laughs> beating Quarantina. Yes. Wow, that's no one that's on the best board best right away. Dig. <laughs> well done, Ashley. Hold your bed at this, Sarah. How your spouse knows you're having an affair with a clown. Red nose in my purse. The 342 handkerchiefs he found in your purse. I like what? the specifics. Everyone, yeah. A lot, a lot of purses in this one. A lot of purses. <laughs> We're women. Ladies, Ladies night. night. I know. Ladies night. Well, that's because the red nose doesn't fit in my wallet. Oh! I can't see Sorry, it. Kona. Handkerchief. Was that Rebecca? Ah! Rebecca won. Oh, yes. just barely out. Rebecca outvoted. Cox taking her down. Oh, head to head battle. The name <laughs> of a bar with no bathrooms. Wicked Pisser or Hold Me Tonight? <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I know who did the first one. <laughs> it's a Wicked Pisser. <laughs> Nice name. I think it's someone out on the East Coast. Mm. And Hatchet goes up against Johnny V and Wicked Pissa. Well done. Takes it well down. Well done, Hatchet. <laughs> uh, I thought Hold Me Tonight was pretty good, and I, I got your vote, so. Yeah, it doesn't mean much. No. Life hack. An ordinary melon baller can also be used for blank. Breaking glass ceilings or belly button lint? Ew. What kind of <laughs> belly button? <laughs> That's a pretty big belly button. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, over time, I guess. I mean, yeah, if you started with a small one and worked your way up. Holly Finley killing it. What? That looks like nice. a whiplash, too, probably. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Has anybody played this game before on on our A panel? strange thing uh, to Tina. shout during a <laughs> tickle fight. You know, you I'll live here. on you oh. or harder. to shout during a pickle fight. A tickle fight. A pickle fight? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 I, I don't want to oh be God. next to him if he's having pickle fights. <laughs> Definitely harder then. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and Hatchet just squeaking that one out. With <laughs> harder. <laughs> uh, all right. Next question is: the only way to truly kill a bed bug is to blank. Burn the house down, or Smashly didn't get her answer quite. Oh uh, no! Wow. <laughs> Winner by default. By default, she probably would have beat me. A line in the Canadian National Anthem, probably. <laughs> maple syrup is our state animal. Yatter, hey, don't you love maple syrup? <laughs> <laughs> wow, maple syrup for the win. I guess yeah. so. 
Is that all we know about Canada, you guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, with hockey shut down, you know. Yeah. You know. Hockey. Yeah. Oh, Kona and I both with similar answers. Yes. Oh, and I just squeaked it out. There are guests, Terry. That's not nice. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Terry's better because he's in Wisconsin, so he's got that Canadian accent down. Yeah. <laughs> a weird catchphrase Jesus would say before performing a miracle. And that's oh, all, well. folks. Or, <coughs> oh, that's going to take out Dang. Rebecca, who did not get to Talks that one. choked under pressure. That's awesome. <laughs> Something that's you great. have never said on Smashbox before, ever. Nope. <laughs> All right, so that is round number one. Our second round will be uh, very similar in nature. And out to the early big lead is Holly Finley. All right, guys, this is essentially Ow. the exact same premise for round number two. So you'll have the uh, <clears throat> same amount of time, and you'll answer two questions. I was about to ask the audience a question, but no. And okay. we have about 80 seconds. Oh, man. I'm trying to come up with funny ones, and it's taking so much effort. I know. You have quick-witted here, and it's not always working for me. What? I don't even... What? I have no idea. Sorry, y'all. Those answers are whack. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's all right. Uh, man. I don't know. Seconds. Thirty-five seconds. This game's fun. I want to Google it, but I want to Google it. What are we I don't know for Tina. Have you time that? Tina doesn't know what a word is. I think. I don't know what a phrase is. Oh. Same, Tina. It's we a probably grouping have the same of words. You think so? <laughs> Quiplash. As all of our contestants answer their questions. Eight seconds. Please make sure to get your answers in. Rebecca. Ashley. There we go. Everybody's in. Congratulations. <laughs> Round number <laughs> two. And here we go. The name of the upcoming TV show starring men with big arms and tiny legs. <laughs> <laughs> Macho Little Feet or Leg Day? <laughs> so is everybody getting better at putting on this board? Is that what's happening over the break? Are we all going to be great putters? I should be, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really good at gardening. <laughs> is anyone going to come out with like a new putting style? Like just surprise Me. everybody. Yeah. Uh oh, Sarah. Yeah, I got that step putt working. Ooh. Ooh. What? Word. What? Let's see. A sign that your dog is an idiot. Swallows oh. his food or leg cramp. Leg cramp. <laughs> Who won the last one? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the macho nacho leg. Uh, That's macho me. Leg. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, Quarantina beat me. So she took a safety quip. I don't even know what that means, you guys. You must, you must me like, either. I think that's like a, <laughs> that's like a default answer. Or yeah, something. where you can press the button if you don't have anything else, you can just press that and it'll enter in something for you. The hardest um, part about dating in 1892: unlocking the chastity belt or waiting <laughs> until Sunday bath for sexy times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh. Ashley, are you going to be playing any events after quarantine? I don't know. I had a couple. I was signed up for a couple tournaments, yeah. but I'm not sure now. Let's see what happens. Pawn those children off on Dana and say, I'm going to play. All right. Uh, oh, wow. Nice job, Finley. <laughs> was that Holly? That oh, man. I thought mine was good. Zero. <laughs> a big old goose egg. Make up what? a name that's probably... Oh. I'm sorry. Make up a name that probably no one in history has ever heard. The Ringer Dinger Long Ding Donger. <laughs> ha Lash Kona Oak Cox Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Uh-oh, me against Johnny V. I played audience I on that. that one. Wow, I would say so. <laughs> uh, 200 winner bonus. All right. Next question is a good nickname for Wolf Blitzer. Moon Juice or Speed Howler? <laughs> what, what is that? Wolf Can I answer this? Yeah, he's a I knew what that was. I don't know what it was either. I just went yeah, with he's it. A, he's an what is a Wolf Blitzer? CNN correspondent. <laughs> He looks like a big. This isn't Jeopardy, the Holly. Come on. Santa Claus. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm juice. Let's go. <laughs> oh, but the audience went with Kona for the win. Whatever. Let's go. Points, Kona. <laughs> yes, go work. <laughs> I had no thing, idea what it was. I had no thing clue. to say during your Supreme Court Justice confirmation hearing. LOL. What? Or I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the worst thing to say. Supreme Court. <laughs> Your nomination hearing. I did it. Uh, that's a good one. Rebecca Cox and Ashley. Ashley takes the. Yeah, oh, nice, Ashley. Oh. Ashley. Oh. I would have chosen that one too. Oh, I, w- I would have <laughs> chosen that one too. <laughs> That's always the best. <laughs> when you're like, yeah, that other one's better. A secret image hidden on the $1 bill. Pyramid or the PDGA women's logo? Yeah. See, again, playing to the audience. Smart. That's right. This one's a dumb one. Who chose these questions? Mm, quiplash? Secret yeah, quiplash. image. The internet. Oh, <laughs> Terry playing to the audience. Yeah. Yeah, crushed. Yeah, crushed. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, quiplash <laughs> all up in that. Boom. Super quiplash. <laughs> <laughs> Super crap. I, that means you're going to That mean the whole audience, too? I yeah, think so. I think everybody. You know what? your company is going out of business when you show up to work and notice blank. Oh, <laughs> the building is gone or... There is no building. One of those is mine. <laughs> Someone else. Oh, goes, man. Oh, who do I like better? Tough oh, choice. Get oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> which one? Hey. Oh, me against original. Finley. How original, you guys. Oh. 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 It's all about the phrasing. Uh, I guess. Is. Sentence and preposition. Wow. Yeah, one seemed more efficient. I think I voted for Holly. I do like efficiency. (laughs) That's the end of round two. We have, we're going to see who's in the lead currently. I jumped into the lead, followed by DJ and Holly. Get out of here. What? It's late night. Okay, this is is a slightly different. This is slightly different. Everybody answers the same question, and you get to vote on your top three. So I'm going to put this in the screen so hopefully everyone can see it. And you'll be able to hopefully figure it out. I'll read it if you can't. So everyone answers the same question. Come up with an award-winning movie with the word in its title. Lick! Oh, Lord. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I quit. (laughs) I don't see a safety quip here. I just... (laughs) This is tough. 35 seconds. No freaking clue. No, that's a that's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what I do, it comes out dirty. <laughs> uh, I hope I I did a PG-13 one because I didn't want to do My it dirty. Daughters better not be watching. Then you're going to lose Kona. <laughs> I know but there might be children watching. Uh, no, not it. Six seconds. Let's it's get nine answer. o'clock. Get your answer in. Oh, well, girl, it is only eight o'clock. Now, oh, uh, it oh, will. Oh, now, all of the answers will appear on your screen, and you vote in order of your top three favorite. So, for everyone playing along, you vote for your top three favorite. <laughs> look, it's starting to not look like a word anymore. <laughs> yeah, the word lick. Yeah, it's like that's not a real word. <laughs> Wow. One lick to rule them all. Lick my disc. Let me. 
<laughs> Let me lick up and down till you say stop. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. Oh, wow, we're dirty. <laughs> it's an award-winning movie. I guess that could be in the porn industry. That's Whoa! Me. Who knows these days? I mean, they probably have awards. Listen, There's awards for do. everything. It's, it's quarantine. Time. Oh, they do. Oh, you know, Money's Terry, huh? <laughs> Wolf Blitzer covers them. That's the only reason why I know. <laughs> Uh, Holly Finley looking like she's taken. Look at those stacks. Lick my disc. Ow! Man, that's good Ashley one. doesn't submit. Oh, Ashley. Lick Lick Land. <laughs> Playing off La La Land. I didn't get it. Let me. Wow, Terry with the really dirty one. <laughs> that was Terry? That was Terry's dirty one. should mind. not be surprised that by that, actually. 90s hip-hop song. Sorry. Sure you were. I thought maybe you would tone it down for Ladies Night, but... You know better. No. Nope. Silly me. <laughs> Holly, coming out oh to the lead. Gosh. Holly That's is Holly. round it's one winner. Game one winner. Game one winner. Game one winner. Congratulations, Congratulations the whole Holly. Time. Holly it. with 8,530 points, followed up by DG Guy, Dirty Minded, 7,110. J to the V, 6160. <laughs> Quarantina in fourth. Hatchet in fifth. Cox in sixth, Smashly in seventh, and Kona <clears throat> in eighth. All right, Kona. <laughs> Time to step it up. Time to step it up. <laughs> You're on the bottom of the chase card. All right, we need no, you to step no up more here. No more PG-13 answers, man, right? I no, no, got no, it. Come on. No more PG-13? All right, are Let's we ready for round number two? Put the kids to bed. More of the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hit same players. Your screen should start up very quickly here. Same players. Everyone following along at home. Ready to go. Let's start game number two. ATZI is the code. If you're joining on in the Jackbox. audience. Okay. Remember, audience, your answers matter more than ours. You guys have questions? I don't have questions. Nope. Not nope. yet. Nothing Give yet. Give a second. Sim okay. it down. Okay. Sim it down. Whoa. Here they, come. they, they look all like they're off. concentrated, so I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> well, we always give Smashbox a head start. We need it. So... Uh, oh, oh! I, I almost read mine again. Oh. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, uh... Fifty seconds left. We got plenty wow. of time. Yeah, it feels like more time than normal. Well, they probably judged us based on the first round. We're like, these people need more time. They're, uh, they're, you know, Smashbox is slow. Oh my god. <laughs> My answers are in. Still waiting on Smashly. Looks like Rebecca Cox. Tina, are you really funny or what's up? <laughs> no, Smashly. not She's at all. In. DG guy, okay. Rebecca Cox. Made Everybody's it. in. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. I got so stressed out, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Uh, question number one: A weird thing for a baseball umpire to lean down and say to a catcher: <laughs> Is your ass fatter this week, or nice ass? Wow! Mm -hmm. Wow! wow. There's a password. Okay. Oh. Thirteen. <laughs> this is eighties PG thirteen, where you could still. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't doing PG thirteen for game night. Okay. Yeah. We're not. You can do whatever you want. Shit, uh -oh. yeah, we can. Shit, yeah, you can. Wow. Oh, it's Lucy Goosey now. Here she goes. <laughs> Tina's had uh -oh. a few drinks. Eric's out of the picture. Let's go. <laughs> the name of restaurant that only serves grade D meat. Ground whatever or the doghouse. <laughs> oh. Isn't that just Taco Bell? 
Uh, Whoa! Don't talk crap about Taco dude, Bell. Uh, I love Taco Bell. Don't get me wrong, but it's gonna be awkward on that first FBO card. Come. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the doghouse wins that one. Congratulations, Just, Holly. Yeah, you gotta stop giving points to the Holly. Oh, yeah. She wins everything. The worst way to die: death by a thousand <laughs> penalty strokes or bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> People are missing some golf. People are missing I love some golf. This. Which would you rather I have? Love this. Penalty strokes or the fact that you took both? Oh, man. Uh, definitely penalty strokes. Uh, oh, DG guy. Death yeah. by a thousand yes. island holes. No! What? Uh, Come I on, had you double guys. bogeys written, Rebecca, and I replaced it uh, with penalty strokes. Mm. And that That's serves you a quip lash! <laughs> Easy. Easy there, killer. If you want a really effective <laughs> scarecrow, make sure it resembles Terry or your mom. Ouch. <laughs> oh, no. No. I feel offended. <laughs> I, I got to vote feel for myself, salty though. about the last <laughs> yeah. question. You know, so I don't know how to answer. Oh, my God. We all have our strengths, Terry. Come on. It's all right. It's good. Whatever. <sighs> Did you not see the good side of my beard? It's the beard. Uh, but your mom taking... Oh, the audience going. <laughs> you jerks. <laughs> did your mom win? I think Terry did. Terry won because of the audience <laughs> vote. Yes. Ash oh! You're Lame. not welcome back next week, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing to hear during a massage. How many hands should I use? Or I'm the one that's supposed to be touching you. <laughs> Whoa! What? Both of those are good. <laughs> those are both really good. Uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, Johnny V and I are going up against one another. Uh, it looks like I got the audience, but I got the overall. Oh, wow. Ooh. I'm disappointed in you, ladies. Just saying. I'm not. I like that. How many? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> like you have more than two or something. <laughs> well, <laughs> what Victoria's Secret models probably do after a fashion show? Holly? Eat some saltines <laughs> or eat Can you carbs. Just look at pictures of pizza. They don't actually eat it. Ah. Nobody <laughs> says masturbate because like, that they should be on there. It would win the, the fan vote for sure. <laughs> fan vote. Eat carbs. With Rebecca Cox taking that one. Hey. Hey. That's what I do. <laughs> Go Rebecca. A really dumb roundtable discussion would be about <clears throat> this topic. Wow. Panic? Or can women play disc golf? Oh. 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 Can I downvote stuff? Is that a thing? <laughs> no, it's yeah. like really dumb. Yeah, because you know who answered that yeah. one. Better not be you guys. <laughs> oh, it's Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley played to the audience. I like it. Whoa. <laughs> I actually got votes. I couldn't think of anything. You're welcome, Quarantina. <laughs> so I wrote what I was doing at the time. Yeah, yeah that's it, Ashley. That Next time I see one. you, no, that, <laughs> we're no, going to have right. that conversation. That, that would be a dumb conversation. So she, she nailed it. Yeah, I guess so. Don't reply to a restaurant job listing that reads, must love blank. Having pictures of your feet taken <laughs> or people. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you guys are all on Facebook. There's weird people out there. <laughs> yeah. Super weird people. Yeah. Very weird people. Wikipedia. Mm, yeah. Holly I'm taking that one. Beating Kona. Gosh, man, give me one. You got to go PG-13 <laughs> at least. People, yeah. that's you barely G. Yeah, G-rated. Yeah. Here, Kona. <laughs> After our first round. If it was just us, maybe, but there's audience votes, too. Yep. Bro, you are right. nasty, let me tell you. You right. Tinley, out to followed by yes. Smashly. Up to some early leads here, just like Holly was last game. All right, you should have new questions up. All right, let's uh, – should we try an audience play along, or should I just censor it right away? Yeah. All right. I don't right. know. With all the ladies, John. John. I know. I've been censoring everyone. Last week or two weeks ago. It was – yeah. The most – 
I keep wanting to read my question. God, I almost told you not to as well. I, I keep like I'm I'm in play mode. I'm in host mode. Fifty seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. All my answers are pee. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're still waiting on Rebecca. We're waiting on Tina. And Come on, Quarantina. Quarantina. All right, I did it. I don't know. <laughs> Still waiting on DG guy. He's got five seconds. <laughs> Plenty of time for him. <laughs> oh, geez, that's not good. <laughs> oh. All right. The most inappropriate song to be air drumming to, Let It Go, or a funeral song? <laughs> the most if you're going inappropriate, a funeral song might be. But, but who doesn't love a little Let It Go? And Holly Finley. Of course, oh, Holly. Is that Quiplash Deservingly. worthy? That looks like a Quiplash, or it should be. No. Oh, I got, wow. got a little, just a little bonus she got there. Dang. Question number two. An unusual reason to duel somebody. They took my pickle or for the last cookie. Oh, wow. That's a tough one. Another Both are my fight? favorite things. Another, <laughs> for sure. Another pickle fight. Another pickle fight. Hmm. <laughs> Dueling pickles. Ooh. Quarantina taking the pickles. Hey. Nice. Oh, pickles. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's like pickles over cookies. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> a really dumb. What kind of pickles are you guys shop? eating? Klutzy I want some of those pickles. Or Sam's sub shop. <laughs> <laughs> Both are a bad Klutzy name for the shop. I'll that. Sub Has anyone tried to cut their own hair during quarantine at all? Lord, no. no. Tina, I thought about it, though. Th yeah. Tina, it looks like you did. Just a little trim. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> he really made himself laugh on that, didn't he? It wasn't that funny, Terry, really. <laughs> uh, the, the reaction was much funnier. The name of a really boring sex position is the reverse blank. Chain Whoa. Burger, the splash zone. Wow. Neither of those seem boring. <laughs> Sounds great. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm not sure that they... Uh, yeah. Can we get a diagram? <laughs> I want to put, like, the flopping fish or something. You know? <laughs> the flopping fish. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. A good name for a movie starring a crime-fighting jockey and his horse. Not, not in my neighborhood or horse, bo horse versus morality. Wow, I almost got that out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the best title ever. Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, quarantine. I'm taking. That, oh, I'm taking this one. Man. That's I knew super, mine was nice. bad. That wasn't even like. There's no way I could compete with that. Super Quiplash awarded so to good. Johnny V on that one. A hey. solid answer. Besides counting rings, the other way you can tell the age of a tree is to measure its girth or measure it with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was Kona just trying to make up for not being? <laughs> What? I, I, I don't oh. feel comfortable doing this anymore. We need to. Oh, <laughs> no. 
goes for Finn. Dirty Kona. That wasn't Dirty. even me, was it? <laughs> no, no. Oh, what was it? Oh, it is. Oh, my I was oh, in. You got the audience Thank you, vote. audience. Wow. I thought girth might be a dirty word. Oh. <laughs> they like that. Really? A sign you made a terrible babysitter. Playing dirty. The nasty dad doesn't invite you back. You're locked outside. Uh. <laughs> he nasty. What he kind of nasty are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, this is going to be close. Oh, and Ashley, Ashley taking this one. Me. Thanks wow. to the audience. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> New rule. You should automatically be arrested if you blink. Throw Vibram or look at our butt <laughs> while we pot. <laughs> wow. Oh. Sorry, Vibram. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Trust your right. <laughs> I mean, don't you like it sometimes when somebody's looking at your butt? Like some people, like if Colton's looking at your butt while you're putting, you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah I guess Colton, but the rest of the world. But... <laughs> what about me? What if I'm looking at your butt while you're putting? Well, yes, it's ladies night. <laughs> okay. Yes, wow, sir. I, I feel some bias here. Only on ladies night. All right. Oh, yeah, ladies night. A little shift. Johnny's super quiplash brought him into the lead. Here's Ooh. round number three, which is usually a little bit more of a visual clue. Remember, everyone's going to answer the same question, and we're going to vote on the top three. Oh, it's going to be a word lash, kind of like last time. Come up with a new. I'm sorry. Come up with a hit <laughs> new video game with this word in its title. Balls. Oh, okay. Mm. She's lick then balls like really like <laughs> next <one. sighs> forty six seconds. Uh, new hit video game with this word in its title. Yeah, with these answers, it's probably good that we censor the audience. <laughs> oh, is that why none of their answers are popping up on the screen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we had a few inappropriate answers a few weeks back, last week even, and so we've stopped. I think we've stopped. Yeah, good go. idea. Yeah. We got a couple seconds. Get them in. Oh no! Oh, oh, there's not a countdown. Uh, all right, well. All right, now again, you vote on your top three answers. Yep. Oh my! Disc golf playing balls deep in the woods. <laughs> Exploding disc golf balls. Flat balls. 22. I like that. Disc golf flat balls. That's what they are, basically. Balls They're of fire. Balls. Excuse me, your balls are showing. Disc golf playing balls deep in the woods. Let's check in with the audience. Great good balls. All right, let's see how this works. I feel like it's kind of an all or nothing kind of answer. DG here guy getting the top in that one. And the second looks like and the third, is that going to be enough to get you to come back, Terry? Uh-oh. <sighs> we shall see. That was, that was rated G, Kona. That was G rated. Yeah, I'm not, very, I'm not very good at doing this. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> too innocent. Catch the ball. My parents, my parents <laughs> are watching. <laughs> No I future as a phone sex operator, Kona? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a mobile It's mobile work. You could do it while you're touring. <laughs> I would be nope, not. <laughs> that, that makes it really tough for Colton to drive. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to concentrate. Come on, keep your mind on the road. Literally, keep it out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm working, honey. Oh, I'm working. All right, we got one more game in us. We usually play three here. 
Okay. Are you guys okay with playing one, one more game more? tonight? Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Let's sign with the same players. <clears throat> Let's get game number three. And I do want to thank all the women for joining us tonight. It was so much fun. Yeah, happy to be here. This was a lot of fun. It thank is fun. I love it. And we got to hang out for a whole hour before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just laughs> awkward. You guys have Johnny B to thank for that. I just wanted to have seen each other in a while. Uh -huh. I wanted everybody. You know. It's great. It was great. The facilitator. Sarah played us a song and we danced for a while. Like, I mean, really pretty much a players meeting like or right, a players party one, Johnny I'm not gonna read this one all right everybody has their answers 81 seconds to answer this question almost done you want to say hi You can stop in and say hi. It's all right. Yeah, Colton, come on. Surprise appearance by Colton during ladies' night. Oh, oh there's Gemma. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hi, Colton. Hello. <laughs> Last thing you want to find in your cat's hairball. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone. All right, everyone. Continues to answer their questions here for round number one of game three. 26 seconds left. Oh, really? I had a lot more time? Dang it. I know. My answer was so dumb because I thought it was going to end. I just get so stressed out. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> 30 <laughs> seconds, you know? <laughs> Two minutes. No All right. The title of the minutes. ultimate dream job. Professional chocolate taster or full-time FPO caddy? Mm. That's got to be a Johnny V answer. <laughs> it isn't. Neither of them. <clears throat> or maybe it's Colton. Mm. Colton came in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes I play to the crowd, but I mean, uh, I did. Terry did. Played to the audience there. <laughs> That's my fallback. If disc golf that. doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chocolate taster would be phenomenal. Ooh, chocolate taster, yum. Mm hmm. All right, what the fine print on Ooh. every love coupon says in exchange for sex or but only during a threesome. Wow. I'm telling you, uh, see? Playing? He's like, what are you guys playing? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go like, uh... I told you. I think, I think it's, oh gosh. It's really dirty. I don't know. I don't know what I got myself. It should definitely be service can be refused at any time. Yeah. Uh, must start with massage. Quarantina takes that one. Well done. Well done. There you go. Nice. Oh, Getting the quiver. Wow. Nice. I didn't see. Told you, Kona. You got to go rated R. <laughs> Frankenstein's middle school nickname. Frankenballs or Bug <laughs> Face? Duh. I like Bug Face. That's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> you want me saying that because I'm losing? <laughs> what? Were you Frank? I didn't know balls? you did Ugg Face. I couldn't see oh, that. Yeah. I was Ugg Face. Yeah, we know who they oh, are. It's no. barely oh. getting beat out. Ashley just barely taking that one. Hey! hey. The balls They're both team. good. They're both good. Yeah. Ashley got balls. I on should her put mind. balls in all my answers and I'd win. Anything phallic and you're going to get the win. <laughs> a, a sign you got a bad nose job. You end up blind. When you blow your nose, you cry. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so Ashley, funny. Ashley, none of your students are watching, right? No? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarah, I took that one. Ooh. Uh, I think I would definitely prefer one of those over the other. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> valid, valid point, Rebecca. <laughs> wow, the worst possible misspelling of Zach Galifianakis. Zalik, Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> 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 oh, these are funny. Galen Fackenshin. <laughs> Zach's Gals Fanatics. Yes. 
Zach, Zach, Zach Galif. See, this would have been the perfect opportunity one. for a phallic joke. True. Uh, yes. Yeah. Nice I literally one. just glanced at his name and tried to spell it as quickly as I could before the time ran. Could have been Zach Galif. That's a challenge. <laughs> the last thing you want to find in your cat's hairball. <laughs> Your favorite whale sack? Or your poop? Oh. Your poop? Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how you tell, but... Well, I do. Oh, gosh. I think I'm so funny sometimes. <laughs> That's all that matters, Kona. Wow, audience going with your favorite whale sack. Oh, my I had to vote whale sack, but Kona, that was good. <laughs> Uh, Tina, oh how God. would you have answered that one? I, I answered, oh. oh. Okay, it would be awesome if you could grow blank in a garden. Dollar dollar bills, y'all, or edible <laughs> dis. It is GBO weekend, and we know I'm that uh, chill. you can get edible <laughs> discs in Emporia. Dollar dollar bills, y'all, just... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Look at that. I know she can't even... <laughs> Oh. Wow. Nice one, Holly. Yeah. Holly Finley. Great answer. With oh, that. Holly. It's the y'all that did it. Mm. Yep. You know yep. your house is too big when you have room specifically for Terry Miller or Disc Golf Videos. Oh. Again, I think I feel offended. <laughs> oh, somebody wants you to live with them. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, when do I move in? Lucky you. Oh. <laughs> I should put Smashbox Studios. <laughs> uh. Sorry, Terry, we're full up on AJ Risley's right now. <laughs> and the audience, audience taking Rebecca's. To... Nice job, Rebecca. No, that was uh... Uh, that was or, that was for oh, Tina. Bowden. I voted Sorry. for it. Nice job. <laughs> Our names look really similar. I read the top versus the bottom. <laughs> She was, the, she was the only vote for it, so. All right, and after round <laughs> number one, jumping out to the lead is Quarantina. What? Yes. Hey. Don't act so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what? Round number two, the totally points are really expected. All right, here we go. Johnny, don't read that question. I will not. I'm waiting to hit censor audience. I want to read what the audience question is first, though. The audience question is something the devil is afraid of. And I got it just in time. <laughs> hmm. Okay, those were a little bit more R-rated, so... <laughs> we have 58 seconds, so take your time. <laughs> Tina, who did you do this with last time? Terry. It was it was I us. She was on one of our first episodes with uh, the boys in the house that she lives there with, and Madison <laughs> Walker, uh, uh, who lives in my town but I never see. Yeah, DG Comedy. Oh. What the heck, Madison? Yeah, right. She's too busy exploring, yo. She was in Gainesville for a little while, mm -hmm. which is like five hours. But yeah, she's maybe seconds. eight minutes from my house, and I haven't seen her since we got back. <laughs> Get your answers in, people. Five seconds. Lame. She's taking the corn thing real. Everyone gets a yeah. in the nick of time. Holly. <laughs> All right. Who feels good about their answers? Me. Oh, I feel okay oh. about it. I yeah. struggled on one for the Johnny, first time. I think you calmed me down and saying you have plenty of time. I think that really helped. A good first <laughs> question to ask later. someone who's interviewing to be an Uber driver. Can you drive? Or can you even drive, brah? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. we'll, we'll see so many we options. Efficiency wins that one. Cortina, if you take this from me. No. Attitude. Tina. Oh, the oh. phrasing. <laughs> oh. It was the bra. It's the bra. It bra. Is. Even drive, bra. Bra. <laughs> Dang it. 
the title of a drama clearly gunning to win an Oscar. Carol Baskin, The True Lunchtime Story. Leonardo's Deepest, Darkest Depths. Oh, get your answer Carol in. Baskin. Carol Baskin. Someone's watched Tiger King. I tried to watch that show, couldn't do it. Yeah. That's, I've you have to get through Tiger the first King. episode. Good one, Holly. Couple. You have oh. to endure the some of the some of the idiocy and then it gets even funnier later. Yeah, yeah I... after about episode two or three, it's 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 pretty thing. Surprising photos to find on Garfield's phone would be of <laughs> Catnip blunts or Snoopy's <laughs> bedroom. <laughs> oh my God, those are both good. These oh, are yeah. great Solid answers. Solid answers. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> and oh, Ashley, you're. You... I think Smashley. Oh, I took the audience. It's gonna be close. Ah, oh, just barely edged you out, wow. Ashley. Oh, Johnny V. Just Snoopy's <laughs> bedroom. Next question, a terrible brand name for cat food. <laughs> Canine kibble bits or pushti chow? It's pussy. Pussy chow. Pussy chow. That makes it bigger. Oh. Oh, we didn't Can know. I change my answer? Yeah. Like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. No, you <laughs> Kona won. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's go, baby. R-rated Kona can kill it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's R-rated Kona. Her answer. <laughs> oh, I had to clarify because you're like, puh, puh. A new traffic law that really needs to happen. Something you, sh something to show where you're turning or no naked driving. Ooh, I don't like that second one. Hmm. <laughs> Who drives naked? <laughs> hey, don't judge. <laughs> well, imagine driving down the road. Whoa, that guy's like naked in his car. You've never changed while driving? Change clothes? I totally have. I yeah. totally have. Yeah. You may have taken off a jacket. <laughs> like, you change all your clothes? <laughs> I changed an entire outfit when I was in high school. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, I had to go to my, one of my first jobs. I didn't want to be late. The best part about a nude workplace Showing off your biggest diss or so much sex? <laughs> that just gets right to it. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> would be the worst place to have to work nude? About a new workplace. I bet they have good sandwiches there. <laughs> <laughs> Tina has the answer of so much sex. All that for nothing. <laughs> All that for nothing. A lot of build-up, not a lot of payoff there, Tina. <laughs> Zero payoff. A pull string toy of DG guy would definitely say, Boom Goes oh. the Dynamite or Smashes <laughs> Unite. They must grab just a random name that's in the in the. That's thing. cool. Oh, can that's you guys make funny. fun of me? <laughs> I, I've never seen that before. We haven't seen that happen before. That's pretty cool. Mm. That's awesome. That's cool. I mean, obviously, Boom Goes Unlike the Dynamite. my answer. Yeah, again. Mm, At least it wasn't a donut. <laughs> At least it wasn't a donut. Ashley's She deserves the one. Yeah, I mean, I mean she's married off. to the Dana Mite. Yeah, all these weeks of Dana chiming in. We I know mean. he's standing. She's He's right to Dana's, or right to Ashley's left. She keeps looking over at him. What a caveman <laughs> says right after sex. Ah, uh, time to make fire or oh. <laughs> 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 I love these. What was the second? What was the second answer? That's that, not my club. That wasn't my club. Oh, that wasn't good. my club. Vote. Sorry, Kona. Oh, I think I'm taking this one. So funny, man. I, I like won. It, Kona. No. Wasn't my club. <laughs> Come on. All right, and that is all of round number two. We're gonna see. A, <clears throat> will we see a shift in scores? Yeah, there's no way I'm keeping that. No, what? Tina's oh, still in first, oh. followed by Jay to the V and Holly Dang Finley. It. All right, ladies our and gentlemen, our round. final round of golf and quiplash. All right, this is everyone answers the same question. This is another word lash. Another one. That's usually you got to look at something. Come up 
with a classic novel with this word in the title. Ape. Ape. Classic novel. You have 48 seconds, Tina. 48 seconds. Becca Cox is in. Kona's in. Jade the V. Quarantina. Smashly. Hatchet. <laughs> you can throw. Are you just playing volleyball, Ashley? Yeah. <laughs> DG guy finally got in there. Not loving my answer. Finale Finley. Finally. <laughs> All right. I couldn't come answers. up with anything. <laughs> ape shit on my boss apes of wrath jungle time love story featuring the ape to kill an ape the apes of wrath 50 shades of ape apes of wrath mm. apes that vape <laughs> brah apes of wraith <laughs> i like that one yeah oh yeah i misread that apes of wraith much cleverer than just the other two much apes of clever. wrath but for real though apes of wrath <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Who put bra on here? <laughs> Still going. Fox. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley's Still like, adding the bra at the end. <laughs> that is a valid strategy Took right it there. Very literally. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Quarantina. She is crushing those stacks. Dang. Uh, Fifty Shades of Ape. Oh, Quarantine is going to win this. She was in the lead. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. into the final round the with the beer lead. Before you play this. <laughs> it's all about the beer. Kona, you'll know when you turn 21. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Turning 22. Uh, nice. Well done. Very nice. Quarantino won, wins the last game, but overall, the highest ranked scores here. I'll, I'll show it so everyone can see it maybe a little clearer. Oh, cool. Holly Finley taking the highest overall score. Quarantina, second place. Followed up DG Guy, then Smashly, then J to the V. Hatchet, Kona, and then Rebecca Cox. Rebecca oh, I beat Rebecca, baby. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there should be You're sudden so death just between the two that. of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think what we'll have to, I think what we'll have to do now is, by default, we have to invite Rebecca back to redeem herself. I think I, that's how it works, yeah. That's why we let like, like yeah. Tina back. Yep, yep. <laughs> how, does it, how does it work with the points versus uh, the winners? I don't understand that. Yeah, we don't know we either. Don't know. <laughs> this is just... Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Word. Yeah. Word. <laughs> Quiplash, where the words are crazy and, and dirty and the points don't matter. <laughs> the hey. points are made up. <laughs> the points are basically made up. Our goal is to get everybody here and have a good time. All right, yeah. guys. So, Success. I like But it. I think you do get a sponsor bonus for that. Just yes. reach out to Yeah, Innova. submit this to all of your sponsors. I'll we'll call Emac. Finished. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start with uh, Rebecca Cox. Rebecca, uh, you're in Oklahoma, and um, what what have you been keeping yourself busy with? Aside from, you know, Ladies Night and Quiplash, what have you been keeping yourself busy with? Um, well, I try to go out and play as much as possible, but with it being Oklahoma, it's, like, nice for a couple of days, and then it's really windy, and then it hails and storms and stuff like that. So, basically, I'm just, you know, doing puzzles and watching TV and, Trying not to be fat, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying Man, really hard I keep not to be fat. All right. So then, <laughs> speaking of puzzles, I know what you've been up to, Kona. Yeah. Uh, how, how many puzzles do you guys have done? We have around 10 puzzles done and glued. Oh, so you're gluing Ooh, them too. We're cool. gluing them, and everyone keeps giving me a hard time about that. Um, Why? Why we specifically? Want well, we don't know what we're going to do with them, but I think in the future, I think we're going to put them on, like, the wall instead of, like, um, you know, painting the wall or something. It's just going to be, like, a wall of puzzles. 
I like it. And what's what's the highest numbered uh, puzzle piece that you've put together? How many pieces? A uh, thousand and fourteen pieces, and that was Colton's. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I got him a puzzle from his win at Waco, and so we finished that one, and that was a thousand fourteen. Awesome. Cool. Yes, that was a very very uh, awesome gesture. What was the picture of him holding up the trophy or? Um, it was him with a bottle of champagne. Uh, it was after everyone left, and it was like Rebecca and like Paige Pierce and a, a, all their group. And then like Paige had like a bottle of champagne in her car. And I'm like, he doesn't drink alcohol, but she's like, oh, it's okay. We just want it for like a photo. So she got that photo, and then I bought it right after that. And so, and we were in quarantine, so it's kind of perfect that we had a, that puzzle too. Awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's move over to, uh, what is that, sixth place we're going to call that. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> Sarah Hokum. Sarah, what's the Hello. tonight? Uh, in, I'm looking at the leaderboard, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Sarah, you were started out down uh, near Texas and Florida and Alabama. You were kind of in that area for a while, and then you decided to uh, head back to the home state, and uh, ultimately you're hanging out with parents, is that right? Idaho? Yeah, parents and my brother's family, we all kind of live in this property together now. I'm still living kind of outside. It's like camping in the backyard with the cows. It's pretty fun. I've been feeding the cows and I pet the cows and I water the cows <laughs> and Ruby chases the cows oh. and uh, I get, I'll be getting some workouts in and stuff. Looking forward to that virtual putting challenge that Pro Tour came out with. I've been playing a little ukulele. Yeah, getting better at that. That's been fun. Um, I've also been doing puzzles, and I just did a diamond painting. Don't do it, people. It's really addictive. You'll never stop. Um, yeah, I'm working on some projects. Working yeah. on my putt. You know, it sounds like you're ten times busier now than you've ever been. Like seriously, I know, simmer down. right? I can always stay busy doing something. <laughs> awesome. I've right. been catching up on the Netflix. I just fi recently finished that Marco Polo series. I know it came out three years ago, folks, or whatever. <laughs> At least. But, you know. I wanted to watch it, good. but I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you have to search really far back in the history. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> Ashley, <yeah. laughs> thank you. Ashley Vichy, uh, you, uh, you teach art. And what's that been like? You know, how are you kind of digital learning and digital teaching and all that stuff with your class? I've been posting uh, weekly assignments for my high school students, and I would say about 50% of them are doing it. <laughs> it assignments, putting things in, so. It, I assume, yeah. now, are you specifically tailoring assignments and projects and things you want them to do with things that they would, I guess, be expected to have at home, as opposed to, you know, I don't know, firing up a kiln, which I guess yeah, most probably can't ceramic, do it. Yeah, ceramic, so I can't have them working with clay or anything. I'm giving the ceramic students like nature assignments to do out outdoors, like sculptural things. I also have a student teacher right now, so working with her through text messaging. <laughs> for so art. Great. Yeah, great. For yeah. Art class. Yeah. Right? What's the ugliest yeah. thing that somebody's made while they've been home? Um, probably images from Google that I find on Google that they turn in as their own work that yeah. I find on Google. Wow. Those yeah, little just, bitches. Like, Reverse uh, image search that, right? So I can search their picture that they turn in as a photograph of their own, and it's somebody else's. Crafty little yeah. kids. I heard that. Uh, my, I don't. I think it was my 11 year old was talking about something like that about kids just taking pictures of things and then trying to submit them. So you're smarter than all those little. Um, I can tell right away. <laughs> you're like you're not that talented. That's literally Ansel Adams. You dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that seems like grounds for suspension. How do you do that with the uh, quarantine? Yeah, I'm just... You're like, suspended. Stay home. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, chain them to the bed or something. <laughs> or into their room. <laughs> well, actually, uh, we know that every almost every Tuesday night, you uh, graciously allow your, uh, your husband, Dana, to join us. And we appreciate all the effort. And we appreciate how much you have to take on to make all of that happen when Dana joins us. So thank you very much. We're glad you joined us. Yeah. All right. Uh, also, then, I'm going to move up the list. Our, our only returning player besides Johnny and myself was Quarantina. <laughs> Tina Oakley down in Pensacola. You've got a house full and 
How often do you lock the door when you're like, oh, guys, there's a butterfly outside. Go out there. And then you lock the door <laughs> just when they run out it. after it. It's more like the other way around. I'll just like ditch the house and go outside myself. Thankfully, it's Florida. It's like really, it's been really nice out. So I go outside every day if I'm going crazy or if it's too loud, which is all the time. <laughs> yeah. And now I know that one of the goals for you guys when you had purchased your house was that you were going to eventually be able to do some airbnb with it. And you were going to work on those projects kind of after the this season was done. But now you're kind of getting a head start on some of those things right now. And how, how yeah. close ready are you? The house looks great. Like everything that I didn't think I'd have time to do is basically done now. We still don't have like most of the grass, but that is not necessary. We had to redo some things that like we absolutely couldn't have people here. And those are done. So, yeah, um, maybe we'll still like maybe we'll rent once we leave here. But with the whole virus thing like i don't know i probably don't want to rent it out when we might have to just come right back home or something you know yeah but you're gonna have a room full of minis and a room full of terry that's what i think i saw <laughs> apparently answer. all right and tonight well, AJ's over... out of here. <laughs> our overall champion tonight uh holly finley holly uh you're not too far from us congratulations nice answers uh, you're not too far from Johnny and I, assuming you're at your residence in Madison, Madison area. Wisconsin area, right? Yeah, that's where I'm at. So obviously, I mean, I, I know when you're not out on the course, you uh, have been doing modeling. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty much a like that's a very touch and go in terms of what's available to you, what fits your schedule, what their needs are. But now none of that's happening, I assume. So how else do you, have you been filling your time? Well, I've been doing some basement putting and some backyard putting as well as playing way too many video games, Call of Duty, and I found uh, Catan online. So, you know, I've spent, um, I'm not going to tell you how many hours, but yeah, it's a lot. Well, join us next week for game night when we play Settlers of Catan against Holly Finley. Uh, uh, hey! Hey! We got some. I think everyone wants to know, Holly, what is your, please tell me you have some very, uh, I don't want to say raunchy, uh, some, some wild or crazy gamer tag. What, do you have a gamer tag? It's actually from my World of Warcraft days because I course. got addicted to that game for three years and I sort of just disappeared um, for three years while I went into that game. It's Octavia. That's the name. I use it for all my gaming. O K T A V I A Octavia. Okay. Cute. Yeah, I kind of like it. I like uh, it. All right. Well, anything else? Uh, well, uh, as somebody said on the board, I think it's a great idea. All of you have, maybe not you, Ashley, sorry, but all of you have some form of supporter fundraiser discs. Uh, I'll, I'll reverse that quickly. Holly, uh, Innova Pro Shop, right? Yes, but they're sold out, so you can check your favorite retailer in person or one of your favorite online retailers. All right. Uh, Rebecca, where can they get some discs to support you, or how can they reach out? Um, they can message my Facebook page, Rebecca Cox Disc Golf, or they can message my Instagram, which is Rebecca R. Cox. Awesome. Holly and I still have a bunch of mine. Okay, uh, so they can check them out. Uh, th uh, and then next to you, sorry, uh, Sarah Hokum, MVP, where, where yeah. should they be supporting you? Yeah, check out a MVP Pro Shop. I've got, I think there's only about 10 left up there. So, yeah, go grab those. And yeah. Tina? Uh, Whalesacks.com. Anything on there. Buy them. Get them now. Are you caught up on making all your whale sacks? I was until, like, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good Same problem shops to have. are opening back up, so now it's crazy again. Awesome. Well, that's a good problem to have. And then, Kona, where should they – can they get some uh, ways to support you? Uh, Facebook, Kona Panis Disc Golf, or uh, Instagram, Kona underscore disc. I have discs through me available. All right. <laughs> Ashley, what, how can, how, what, what can we do? Uh, I've got some pottery for sale. Okay. Ooh. Cool. I yeah, like it. it. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Random <laughs> hand. Just <laughs> <your arm. laughs> AV Pottery on Instagram. What is it? AV Pottery. AV Pottery. Awesome. And then do you have um, also like an Etsy? I don't have an Etsy, no. I just okay. sell things through Instagram as of now. Mm -hmm. awesome. All right. 
All right. Well, uh, I, we have to say yet again, thank you guys so much uh, for your patience tonight. We really do appreciate you guys joining us. I won't throw Johnny under the bus again for that, but we appreciate you guys all joining us. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys all out on a course soon in some yeah. way. Yeah. Please. Some yeah. way. Oh, hopefully. Everybody. <laughs> I know everybody is, is missing golf. Uh, we're missing covering it, uh, and and uh, people want to watch it. So uh, keep up with all the awesome challenges and the post and all the engagement that I, that all of you guys are doing. It's been awesome to see. So thank you guys for joining us, and uh, we'll catch you guys in another one. We'll have you back some night. We'll have you back. Hopefully, hopefully we won't have time to have you guys back because we'll be on the course. But, but if not, you know we're doing this every Thursday night. <laughs> yeah. True that. Guys, have a great right. night. Awesome. Good night, guys. Bye. 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 Just hang out on the Skype and talk amongst yourselves now yeah. if you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was great. All right. Again, uh, fun night here tonight. Thank you, guys, for joining along with us and uh, playing along for our audience per tip participation. As uh, we realize just how crucial that it is uh, when they submit their own answers or. Uh, uh, Pick their favorite answers. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. The, aud the audience is crucial. <laughs> uh, I'm reading off the board here quickly. I want to just take a few questions or uh, notes. Thank you to the board who did remind me to also prompt them for how we can go out and support them. That was great. I appreciate whoever did that earlier. See, AJ Risley is out on the board. Uh, Chris Cobb wants to know what's in the bag. That, that'll have to be for another night uh, with all of them that we had with us here tonight, Chris. But thanks for joining us. Brody Smith chimes in, says, Dark Horse Pottery, <laughs> as, as it just shows up out of nowhere, the floating hand, thanks to Dana Might. So we appreciate that. Uh, that Brody just getting in on everybody's business. <laughs> he, he, want, he wants in on the pottery. And I, I, think, I think I saw that Brody claims to have carded an ace today. I so did uh, see that. I, I didn't get a chance to see it yet. Um, I don't know if there was video. I think it was just a picture. I'm, oh, so gosh. if he has no. video, if he doesn't have video, man, then it didn't he's really fired. happen. Yeah, that then then it definitely did not happen. Um, Phoenix Ruger Redbird, good to see you out there from uh, coming in from Arizona. Hope you're staying safe and well out there. All right, guys. Well, we are going to call it for game night, but we'd be remiss to not remind you that tomorrow afternoon. So in like 20, not even 20 some hours, we're talking about 18 or 19 hours or so, we're going to be back here again, bringing you the 2020 Glass Blown Open Remix. And we did that a few weeks ago with the Jonesboro Open. And we have a similar format this year uh, or this weekend where we're going to have the Glass Blown Open action coming to you. Of course, we invite you guys to go check out glassblownopen.com and follow along with all of what Dynamic Disc has been doing this week. They're hosting the virtual GBO right now, which I know a lot of people are participating in, and they're continuing to put out a ton of media as they do so well over there at DD, uh, and that uh, continues tomorrow. So be here at 4 o'clock Central, and we're going to be giving you the Glass Blown Open remix round. Should be uh, a lot of fun. You, me, Robert McCall. Me, Johnny, and Robert giving you guys the action as uh, <laughs> this one's going to be a little wilder, it's I'm going to tell you, yeah. than last time. we got a few other courses to pull from this side of heaven was great because it was just a matter of which year and which round and this year uh for this event uh we've got a number of courses gonna be trippy to play <laughs> we'll see how that shakes <laughs> out uh it should be interesting so of course we invite you tomorrow i believe again that's 4 p.m central is what we're planning for the kickoff of that and uh, we'll probably have some games or raffles and giveaways and super chat action and you know all the standard stuff that we love to do for you guys so uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow afternoon so we're going to call it for game night number five ladies night here we want to again thank all the women for joining us and uh, having a really good time with us and playing <laughs> along it was certainly a lot of fun uh, next week we'll see what group we put together i've got a few ideas in mind but we'll see if we can get a great group put together and uh, bring you some more of that action for game night number six for johnny v terry miller the disc golf guy this has been game night number five we'll see you tomorrow afternoon for the gbo 2020 remix we'll see you then when you step inside the smash box